Yesterday, Warhammer Community did an article on Kill Team. Loads of information, terrain boxes, expansions and accessories. This video is for anyone wondering how much they will have to buy before playing. So, Aaron Painting will probably buy most of it. Of the 16 announced factions, we already played 10 of them in 40k. We also have plenty of terrain for all the league kill zones except Death World. Does that mean we're good? Well, no. It means we want all the boxes related to those factions and environments, and here's why. We already have the miniatures, terrain, rulers and dice. But we need a core manual, boards, the kill team specific tactics, the kill zone specific missions and the terrain specific environment cards. The only way to get this is to buy almost everything. Don't despair, you probably don't need 10 kill teams and 4 kill zones. So let's have a look, shall we? You need the core manual. It comes with the starter set or you can buy it separately in hardback or as EPUB. You need a 22 times 30 inch board. A single worm of battle tile will do it, but if you don't have that, you need a board. All boards are double sided, with Sector Imperialis on one side and another kill zone on the other, except the board in the starter set, which comes with two sides of Sector Imperialis and, from the look of it, the Rogue Trader expansion due late 2018. So, you will have to get Wilma Bell or either a starter set or kill zone box. You need 5 to 10 miniatures to make a kill team. There will be 16 factions to choose from from the get go and more later. Both the starter set and the kill team starter sets come with miniatures enough for pre made kill teams, but you will probably not play pre made teams in the long run, so those sets may come out short lagging unit types. But if you want the faction specific tactic cards, which are a bit like stratagems in 40k, you need to buy the box with your faction of choice. You need terrain for your board and quite a lot of it compared to 40k. You can use what you already have or you can pick up either the starter set that comes with Sector Imperialis Spurs or any of the kill zone boxes if you want another environment. You can, of course, also buy a couple of terrain boxes, but both the starter set and kill zone boxes are greater value. And they come with kill zone specific missions. If you play 40k as well and lack line of sight blocking terrain, I'd, I'd recommend Sector Imperialis. Also, if you buy one of the kill team starter sets, these come with a bit of terrain as well and so called environment cards with special rules for using that type of terrain in your games. Finally, you need a D10 die and D6 dice as well as a ruler. Most gamers have this already. And you may want to consider the blank data cards for an easy overview of your kill team members' abilities and stats. But I'm guessing you'll be able to just use Battle Scribe instead. Confused? Okay, let's break it down. You have to ask yourself three questions. What kill team do you want to play? What environment do you want to play in? And do you need all faction specific tactics, kill zone specific missions and terrain specific environment cards? Or are you okay with just the basics? If you're okay with kill team light, you need a manual, a board, miniatures, terrain, ruler and dice. If you already have a realm of battle tile, miniatures, terrain, ruler and dice, all you need is a core manual. If you don't have realm of battle, you need to buy either the starter set or one of the kill zone expansions as well. If you want the full package, Kill Team Plus, it very much depends on faction and setting. If you want to play gene stealer called Acolytes or Skitai in Sector Imperialis, you need the starter set. That's it. If you want to play any of those two factions in Sector Mechanicus, you need the starter set and the Sector Mechanicus Kill Zone expansion. If you want to play, let's say, Adeptus Astartes in Sector Imperialis, you need the starter set and the Fangs of Ulrich starter set and perhaps some other transfers than the Space Wolf ones included in the box. If you want to play Adeptus Astartes in Sector Mechanicus, it gets a bit more complicated. You need the Fangs of Ulrich starter set, Sector Mechanicus kill zone expansion, the core manual, ruler and dice. All kill team sets and expansions come with various amounts of kill zone specific terrain. So if you pick a faction that comes with terrain from one kill zone and want your skirmish to be set in another, you will end up with some unused terrain. To minimize expenses, I'd recommend that you plan your shopping with your opponent. That way you can end up with two kill teams 
and enough terrain for two distinct kill zones, including tactic cards, environment cards and missions. I will be playing Death Guard and the awesome looking Nurgle kill team featured in the Rogue Trader preview. I'll be playing in all kill zones, except perhaps the Death World one, and I will be going for Kill Team Plus. What about you? What faction is your heart's desire? What kill zone are you going for? Let me know below and have a nice day.